Sup guys, Vivi Chan here. Hope you guys are doing well. So today we're gonna continue with some more of One Piece with anime episode 1065 and 1066. Oh. Psh, psh, psh. La, let's go! Iza te ぜ、キリサイテ。おのれの地図を描いてゆけ。うん。右の左も口ぐちゃぐちゃにやれた海のような時代、奇跡あげた価値かさえも腐れ去ろうとした。らしい、バンの寿司たさきが新しい色頃とでなんてどれ外れにのわからないんだ。浮かぶ息は吸い込んで瞳閉じれば浮かび上げるのは魂の澄ます道。Alright. Just quickly, from the last time, it's great, it's crazy that Kaido is still fighting with Luffy at this rate. Like, how long have they been fighting? It seems forever, but I guess it's still within the same day, and now he's drunk. But I think, like, the biggest part of that previous episode was the last five minutes, right? I mean, I the reverie is so interesting. I want to see that part of the fight. I mean, uh, that part of the arc, right? There was, like, the... What's it called? The Shichibukai has been abolished, and then uh, they're talking about the incident with Alabaster. Are they talking about the thing from two years ago with Crocodile, or is this like something new that happened with Vivi or something? And then, uh, oh, they also mentioned the Revolutionary Army has infiltrated. Like, those three th things sound so interesting. Can we get more details? I want to see. And then they're like, Luffy's Devil Fruit name has a different name. It's like hidden from history. It hasn't awakened for centuries. Like, that sounds so interesting. Please give me more. Because <laughs> uh, I waited two weeks because I I need more, right? You can't just watch a little bit in one sitting. Like, he's like, I thought it was getting serious and interesting. <laughs> he drinks the booze. <laughs> ah, now Luffy's the one just, like, angry. <laughs> but still, he's pretty strong in his uh, drunken form. He's avoiding all of the the punches and uh, he, I think he got at least two or three hits on Luffy last time. He's making all these weird sounds. Don't try to sober me up! <laughs> oh, damn. And this is him weaker? Hell nah. Those eyes right there actually look really Dragon Ball Z-ish. <laughs> That fruit became a mere legend. Hasn't awakened for centuries. Oh, and plus Zunisha, right? The, like that last five minutes was, oh. Like I knew they're probably not going to talk about this this episode, so I specifically waited two weeks. Like is Luffy's fruit drawing in Zunisha? Like is the time now? Oh my gosh, so excited. Give me some good stuff this episode. If not, at least we have a second episode. Is it the ninjas? Daizo and Fukurokuju. Right. Now they're having the Metapi Harden battle. Whoever stops first will die. Or at least the Jutsu will get released. But I feel like Fukurokuju doesn't have the endurance, so hopefully he's gonna lose. Like, Raizo is ready to die if needed to stop Fukurokuju. Oh. 
Oh no, I hope they don't get help. Why aren't you moving? He's like lost off fate. He's like, we're doomed. Let, let it kill us. The fire is going to get to us anyway. At least if the rocks fall, wouldn't that stop some of the fire? Who fell down? Is it the ninjas? Ay, Jinbei, my man! Sashiburi! Wow, what a dude, Jinbei. He's still worried for the little guys. Y'all need to be like, let's follow boss Jinbei. Oh, yeah, Bing. Yeah, you better not, like, backstab us later. What happened to we're doomed? <laughs> See? Hope is not lost. Shouldn't give up so easily. Okay, okay, Jinbei. I see you. What you gonna do now? Oh, is he gonna stop that fire demon thing? Look at Jinbei saving people. Oh, God. That's a creepy big mom. Because <laughs> I was thinking, oh, Jinbei's water, so he naturally wants to stop all fire. <laughs> Great. Chopper's worst nightmare has appeared again. <laughs> Imagine she's specifically looking for Chopper. Uh-oh. Doki doki suru? No. It says trembling. Your growth spurt. What? What's going on? Back to normal? Da, 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 da. Hey, Chopper Bro is back. Choniki. Dun, da, da, da. Oh my god, those pants are so cute. Little purple shorts. <laughs> I love their clapping for this. Da, 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 da. Baby geezer. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, it's easy to say, oh, Zoro can take it, but, you know, everyone's body has a limit, so he did win, but hopefully he's healing, he's resting up there. I love how much, I love the relationship between Zoro and Chopper, because they're, like, total opposites, but, like, the respect and... Maybe Sanji will, well, Sanji's also injured. Jinbei? Dang, that's a lot of blood coming out. Hmm? The will. His ancestor? A shadow of, uh... No, don't tell me King is coming back. What is that? A black hole in a shadow? What the Shinigami is this? Is this a numbers? What the hell? Holy, he, he's fighting for his life. He's literally about to die. That is a death reaper right there. The Grim Reaper. Zoro, you must fight death. Oh, 
Holy shit, Chopper, you gotta get somebody. G um, Frankie? I love he's got a huge crescent moon on the top. B moon! Psh. All right, who's gonna reach Zoro first? Someone's gotta get him back. Like, I don't know if the power of friendship can call him back from death, but it must, right? Nice job, Izo. Why not? I guess they don't know his origin from Wano, but you could look at him, what he's wearing. He's obviously a samurai. What the flippin'? Yeah, no mercy. Yeah, if you don't stop them, they'll stop you, so. Gotta do what you gotta do. Is, is someone gonna come for him? I feel like, right now the animation looks like really good quality for, like, I don't wanna see. Oh, shoot. CPs. Ominous music. Oh, oh, oh! He's just a zero. Yeah, I was like, we're looking for Nico Robin. You gonna let him go? There we go. Chills, man. Boy. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, it's so adorable. Hey, Frankie's music, damn! It's been- wait, sorry. <laughs> Yamato. I was like, it does sound different, my bad. It's going to be very close. Giddy, giddy. My God, he's just a few inches away. Maybe a few feet. There you go. Godspeed, let's go. Namuchi. Yeah, ice those things. Wait, don't go back. You still gotta take it out. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, like, the fire will still get to the eyes. Is it gonna cry? Ew. What is it doing? Oh. I thought it was gonna try to consume Yamato or like make it its puppet. All right, big mom, we need law and kid. Come on, guys. Yeah. Uh, but then I'll admit, big mom got stronger and they're still tired from the previous. Look at her flaming red hair. Kusogaki domo. Oh my god, if Nami comes and she's able to fight off Big Mom with Zeus? Big Ajimbe? Uh, Jimbe and Nami? But then I feel like Law and Kid should do it. I don't know, like, what what's going on? Like, that's gonna stop her. Y'all gotta, like, just jump in front of the attacks. That's the only way. Chopper Sensei, you have some medicine? Like, the one you gave Zoro, maybe? Damn, her hair's like hot Cheetos. Flaming hot. Are they ignoring? Oh, there you go! That's what you guys should be doing! And then your loss is going to make your captains furious. Am I getting ignored? <laughs> mm-mm. Damn. Chopper, you gotta face your worst fears. Wow, Chopper. I'm proud of you, Chopper. Because the other episode, I'm sorry, Usopp, you ran away. But look at Chopper. He's going in there to face Big Mom. I remember previously the encounters with Big Mom was like... Oh god. Oh no, she's not going up to where Luffy is, right? Y'all can't interrupt. I think Chopper's gonna have to rumble ball again, maybe? I've... Oh no, 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 no. Wait, Law is also doctor? Nah. Oh no! No, 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 no. Exactly. Yeah, you gotta lock her in some- Oh! Her back is turned- Oh! Wait. Wait. That did not take her out. Okay, god damn though. Okay. L Law, I'm praying for you. What? 
Can he cut out her heart? You know how he did on uh, Punk Hazard? Cut her in half. So, electricity. The ele Oh my god, this is so cool. The music is the guitar. Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, a kid this time. Yeah, don't interrupt. It's like, I can't let Law take all of the credit. Yeah, you better make sure they're dead first, Big Mom. Oh my god, even Big Mom is terrified. It's the giant she's always wanted to see. What? Dio, eh? Oh, it's a dog, like. Give him another one! It ain't over though. She's gonna go in a food rage or something. There we go, man! Dude! <laughs> that was great! Next episode. Okay. What the heck is this? Wait a minute. Do not tell me this is like a recap. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Oh my god. I just saw it. It says special eight. I hate myself so much. <sighs> Let's just take a quick look at the preview anyways. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I hate myself. Like, I didn't know they're gonna have a special this fast. Usually it's like a, you know, a huge fight. And then we have it. Robin and Nami. This is the eighth special. Recapping Fierce Fight, the Counter Change Alliance versus Big Mom. And I'll... Fuck me. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll wait another week to post this. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's talk about the episode 1065 to be specific. We start off with Fukurokuju versus Raizo. It seems like Raizo might have a slight upper hand because Fukurokuju can't stand a little fire. We'll see. Uh, some of the beast pirates running away from the fire. They think it's over, but Jinbei, like the boss that he is, comes to save them. And like, he's just a good dude helping anyone, friend or foe. And uh, I want to see what's Jinbei's next move. 
but uh, we cut away to I believe Zoro which is interesting there's like a grim reaper coming for his life so this is making me really worried because it seems like death is coming towards him like Chopper is really worried about him because he has his own side effects that he just got over and he's back to normal Chopper but the, if Chopper is worried about Zoro it makes me worried about Zoro looking at all the blood spill out of him and like I said the grim reaper looks like it's about to come for his life so this is when he's gonna fight for because like suddenly it changes some like magical sorcery anime and then I was like Zoro are you in the right anime what's going on so praying for Zoro like he's gotta think of Luffy something my best friend is Luffy my captain he's gotta think of Kuina I gotta reach my goal he'll bring him back unless that is something else that I don't know about like I, I doubt it's one of Kaido's henchmen but uh, hopefully, I, I want I, like, I to know what happens next. And we did not see Sanji, Usopp, or Nami, or Robin. But we did see the CP0. Izo just finished, kind of finished his fight. There was still a few beast pirates. But uh, he encountered CP, Cypher Poe. And they're like, uh, let's pretend we didn't see each other. Because they got other stuff to do. They can't waste time fighting Izo and getting weaker. They got to get a Nico Robin. But uh, Izo... You think, oh, he got seriously injured, he might let them go. But he's in an alliance, kind of. Well, Marco is in the alliance. But technically, since Izo is part of the Akazayas and uh, they're in alliance with Luffy, he's kind of connected too. He can't let them get to the Straw Hats. So, to be continued again, we jump to uh, Frankie. He's also, actually, it's just like a minute of Frankie just running through running through some of the beast pirates, shooting the beams. I guess they could have, like, wasted more time by having, like, Nami Robin showing them run or something. But, you know, maybe that's just repeated animation. Like, it would be nice to see if Usopp got Kiemon and Kiku safely. I'm assuming he did, because uh, he's got one of the smile fruit giraffe or something helping him out. And uh, pretty much the biggest part of this episode was a little bit of the Zoro part, because I hope he's okay. And then, finally, the big mom part. We know from the previous episode, she, like, ate part of her soul so she's got even more energy and you know and Law and Kid are already worn out so they got less energy to fight her and it seems like she's wiped them out with Hera Furugura or something big electricity attack took her out and I'm thinking oh my god it's up to Chopper. Chopper's got a face this year, which I'll applaud Chopper because the whole time they made a comedic thing where every time he encountered Big Mom he had this like shocked Pikachu look to him which is funny enough Chopper and Pikachu have the same voice actress, Otani Ikue. And uh, so I'm like, wow, Chopper just jumping right in. I thought he's going to use another Rumble Ball. And then, you know, Big Mom will remember, oh, I want this pet because he can be a cute little thing and turn into like a giant. But Big Mom's focus is just, I want to go to rooftop to see how Kaido's doing. Like, I, I hope she doesn't help Kaido. But it doesn't matter because uh, Law snaps out of it. And he's like, hell no, I'm not letting you go. He like extends his uh, sword and he used the same cutting attack that he did at the top yeah and he's like I know this affected you last time because it's like hurting her from the inside so like at the moment I was like oh my gosh she like fainted for like a quick split second but then she came back right away and uh the electricity attack really like shook her up and she fell and then that's when kid comes back and he's like taking all of big mom's uh metallic souls homies and other metal steel bars to him and he creates this like uh hell dog looking thing and everyone's like wow it's like bigger than big mom it just like rams through big mom in a wall and like it yeah it did a, quite a lot of damage and like uh, i love the two in unison law and kid going we are not letting you get to that rooftop whether it means like helping luffy or just like the fight is not over you gotta face us first or just uh they're both a competition they're like who can get to, who can defeat a yonko first like you know, it's a little bit of everything, their pride. I love it when their crewmates was also worried. They're like even begging Big Mom, please like uh, spare them. Obviously, we know Big Mom would never do that. But I just thought that was a nice moment to see Law and Kid's crewmates worried about him. And I believe that is it for the episode. Yeah, we just got a recap, which uh, it's kind of sad because we just like less than five episodes away, we already had recap seven right i felt like that was just like a month ago or something so it's kind of disappointing to have it so soon yeah but it looks like the next episode we're gonna continue the fight with uh big mom and kid and law i'm just hoping 
next episode they can do it like sometimes i can't ju- i'm like okay they're gonna finish it and then they don't and then when i don't expect that they defeat it because we already have defeated besides like the little bit of the beast powers there's fukurokuju but raizo's already dealing with him and it's just the two yonkos big mom and kaido that's like i mean they're cps but they have like a side mission that they're doing so i feel like the arc is slightly coming to an end but at the same time we haven't seen luffy like awaken you know we're, we're like waiting 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 like i thought it would already have shown i don't know exactly what it is i feel like they're just like highlighting luffy for something it's like when are we gonna we're, we we better not get it at episode 1100 oh my god like i'm hoping it would happen within the next in 10 episodes because maybe you know i can't judge yeah, it's hard to tell how quickly things happen because obviously time is different in the anime. I waited two weeks for no reason. I, I think I'm gonna come back weekly. Cause like, I don't know what the preview is. So every time, every time, I don't think I've ever like missed a special. I've always waited those two weeks and bam, I get hit with the special. So I'm gonna wait till next week to post. <laughs> oh my gosh. I hate me. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to leave me your comments and thoughts. I'll be sure to read them and see you guys for the next reaction. Peace out. Sup guys, Vivi Chan here. 1066 is out today and we can finally watch it. So let's just jump right into it. Right? I forgot my fan. Oh wow. いざ羅針盤の差し出先が正しいなことからなんてどれ外レリの分からないんだ浮かぶ息を吸い込んで瞳と字列波浮かび上げるのは魂の澄ます道いざ手を伸ばして風を切り裂いて Alrighty, what even happened the last episode? <laughs> I feel like every week I say that. I feel like just a whole bunch of stuff happened. Holy crap, has that one week been so long that I forgot? The only thing I really remember was there was a special 9 episode, and I was like, what the heck? I thought we just had special 8 or something a few weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Chopper's worried about Zoro, because Zoro saw like the Shinigami Death Reaper on him. But there was something else. Zoro? Kid. Well, this is different. Whoa, this is so crazy how this looks. It's like a manga, but I don't, it doesn't really look like Oda style. Damn, that looks nice. Oh my god, this is gonna be a bomb episode. This is gonna be crazy. Like, I think it gives it a more raw feeling when you see a black and white picture. Because, like, your imagination, like, gives you, like, insight to what this is. They're gonna get Big Mom this episode. Because the last episode... 
right before Kaido, that damn Apu and Hawkins. Mm, I'm, oh my god, that, that first time Kaido was ever introduced, like, holy crap. I think this is like a little bit before he hit Big Mom. Oh man, I love the shot. Him and Luffy and the uh, Oden. No, Udon. The jail. Yeah, so then this is what made him activate his whole. I like. I love seeing this side of the perspective. Yeah, hearing Law call him, go, Eustace, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I want to see, like, them defeat Big Mom, because I think the only ones left is Big Mom and Kaido. I don't care the Fukurokuju, just... Psh. Hmm. I mean, yeah, they're still Rizo. I mean, not Rizo. Um, getting everyone's names wrong. Uh, the Orochi is what I meant to say. I should have refreshed before I watched. I'm honestly really excited to see what he looks like in his uh, human form. Will he look like Odin? Oh my god, I remember that episode when they charged in. I think this was like 900, no, what episode was this on? Yeah, even if he delays it by a few minutes, that's a lot of lives saved. But seriously, has no one noticed it yet? I guess they're focusing on everything on the ground. They don't want to look up. They don't want to see, all oh, the day is coming and the night is over. They're having fun. I love that stark contrast, like having fun one side and then the serious tone of Momo. 
Man, the animation on Momo is really nice. Is he actually pulling it? This must at least get the people's attention because they're going to hear some rocks falling. Oh, he managed to pull. Keep going, Momo. You made a difference. That's how much the, his home, the capital, Wano, it all means so much to him. This is his father's legacy. Huh? A skull? This can't be Brooke. Zoro's... Uh... <gasps> Zunisha! Zunisha! Right? That was Zunisha's eye. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, I feel like oh, this is gonna be a huge cliffhanger, I can tell. If they can at least co accomplish one task, defeat Big Bob, I don't know. If, if Zunisha makes another appearance, I want more Reverie, like, so much! <laughs> I love the gleam in his eyes! <laughs> oh, He's like, Big Mom, you're glowing, but you can't beat my eyes. <laughs> Man, Big Mom's the elemental. <laughs> I wouldn't celebrate too early, though. Like, give her a few seconds. I am sure she's going to get back up. Because that was, like, the 20th time she came back or something. Oh, a Zoe is coming. <laughs> Captain. Told ya. So on creepy ass theme. Hungry? Oh god! I'm I'm actually surprised they like dislodged her dislocated her arm does she even feel anything because she's got like impenetrable hockey mm, he was only able to do it because law ah, ah. <laughs> you did that ah. uh oh uh oh what the hell come back to life what the hell? Literally, you have to aim to kill her. You can't just be like, I defeated her, I knocked her down. You have to kill her with the intent of actually... You gotta, like, knock her off the island. I think we're already past the ocean, but... <laughs> Law's face was just so done. <laughs> Uh-oh, what's next? Is it that big attack? Damn, she cut it so easily. With explosives, too.
Magnet. Oh, N, N and S, North and South. Ooh, even Big Mom can't escape a magnetic pull. <sighs> oh, she could just take the whole thing with her. Oh wow, under her skirt. <laughs> I'm just thinking like what could be another weak point of hers? Her eyes? Her yeah, go along. Yeah, law because he could hit her on the inside. Honestly, law is right. Kid needs to make an opening so then Law can get attacked from the inside. Like Kid, honestly, he needs to distract her. So, but, but Law's doing pretty well right now. But I think he's only got enough Shem. There we go, there we go. <laughs> there we nope 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 mother's visit canon three thousand leagues of misery It's like the spirit of Mother uh, Caramel or something. Dang. Actually, that looks like her daughter, Brulee. <laughs> that is creepy as hell. It's too early for Halloween. Oh my gosh. Halfway already? The episode's going to end before we know it. Hey, I never see a kid one. And was that like metal butterflies? Cute. 3,000 legs of misery. I'm assuming that's like Big Mom's soul. Well, actually, technically it is her soul because it's the three... God damn, the colors, man. <gasps> Why are you standing there? I mean, it is Napoleon, Zeus, and uh, Hera. Law used this opportunity to attack Big Mom? Shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on!
damn kid. I don't know how you are still able to stand up though. There we go, there we go, there we go! Penetrated real deep. Goddamn. Is she hitting herself too? Oh, I I think that hurt more than the misery one. But what is he? Is he trying to reach the ground, the ocean, the... The lava? Is it a volcano, underwater volcano? What? What the hell is this attack, man? Nobody saw it! Oh my god, it was like a UFO in the sky. But that's one crazy puncture attack. Damn. Is this it for Big Mom? Is this it? Zunisha? Come on, oh my god. Oh, that's what he saw. The... Fall, fall, fall. And he made a hole for her to fall. Come on. Just like king and queen. You gotta fall. And take that slimy, fiery black hole with you. Use this. Use this. Push her down. Somebody gotta push her down. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. To complete it. There we go. There we go. Oh, and maybe that was from the beginning. I don't... It connected. Yes, this part was at the very beginning. He was remembering everything. Do it, use this. It connected and push her down. Push her down. This is it. Oh my God. The colors, the purple, pink, blue, green. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go! Better not, better not. Oh my god, I can't believe it ended. Oh my god, if she survives, oh my god, if Misery saves her, oh my god, if there's a special next, a two, no episode next week. <laughs> she's, she's, she's not going down. No, she's not, she's not done. Oh my god. I have to watch next week. Ore wa naru. Oh my god, Law and Kid, that combination. But honestly, I'm gonna say like 70% was all Law. It, it wouldn't have happened without Law. Yeah, like, 
Because Law knows he can depend on Eustace. He can just go ahead and be like, because if there was no kid there, maybe Law would use the extra strength, the last of his strength to maybe try to push Big Mom, but it was still, but you know, it's the combination of their attack that makes this work, man. Man, the last, <laughs> you know, because I watched like Spider-Man last week, so then I was just thinking like the colors, but I mean, it doesn't compare. Nothing can compare to that Spider-Man. Oh my God, what's across? Is it across or into or beyond the Spider-Verse? Wow, the colors. But man, this episode. Ah. Man, if you love Law, this is your episode. This was his moment to shine in the spotlight. And man, did he deliver. I love it. Like, I think Law has been at peak number two on the popularity post so like i think this like brought him back up if he ever dropped because i think like after another recent post he's he's always gonna be in the top five but anyways i love that the beginning of this episode started from a kid's perspective because i thought this was going back to the last episode and uh a recall to the last episode showing when he jumped in but this is actually the part from the end of the episode but it's just looking at it from his perspective and i love the black and white manga panels i'm not too sure if it's directly from the manga and like you know he's just reminiscing back to when he's a kid with his crewmates when he fought on shabandi with law and luffy and then like you know meeting kaido meeting luffy at the Oden. I mean not Oden, uh udon uh jail cell prison the black and white just tells a story right it doesn't it doesn't need the colors it's like a flashback but like it just it brings memories and it just brings like your imagination like a pic a picture tells a thousand words and uh he's thinking of all this and like as he's tired out because like he literally got the beat shit he got his ass beat by big mom's uh misery soul which is basically the three souls napoleon Hera and uh, Zeus combined together, which kind of look like brulee, honestly. Anyways, I didn't remember him getting that beat up from the previous episode, but now it all connected back because you see him dripping with the purple, maybe that's just blood, but like the discoloration or whatnot. And uh, when he hears Eustace, yeah, and then he jumps right in and then we just go back to the beginning of regular episode. Yamato is still fighting that dark hole blob thing. And uh, Momo's doing some progress pulling. I mean, I guess for some people, it might be annoying to see the same animation of him pulling, but you know, he actually made some progress. Instead of stopping, he actually moved it back a little bit. Oops, I clicked. And I love seeing the Akazayas come in. We see the flashback where Kiamon and friends just jumping in to fight Kaido, Luffy, his family, father, mother, sister. They all give him this motivation to do better. At the same time, he's working so hard and I can't believe nobody on the bottom has looked up. But like I said, they're enjoying the festival. I think there's a full moon, right? Because like the Sulong, the main Swan of Sulong form, the people, the people want to only get this one night to enjoy themselves. So, so I'm sure they just want to spend it looking at their surroundings instead of up. But you know, that's just like a minor thing. And uh, we move on to the big mom fight with Law and Kid. And oh my god, the first time that Kid came back and his eyes were sparkling, that was pretty funny. I love Law is reminding him, reprimanding, because Law is like, the older bird law is like 26 or something i think kid might be a little bit younger than him like by two years so maybe kid is like 24 25 I, I can't i don't really remember we just know i know luffy is 19 but anyways law is just telling kid like don't think you're a winner just because you know like you, you gotta you gotta stay humble <laughs> you know they're just doing the usual bickering and then you and then kids just telling him don't tell me what to do but law knows his attack is effective so he's like don't make me the opener Okay, you help me, not I help you. So same as the time when they break up with Luffy, like who's the leader? Who gets to make the final, final blow? But in the end, they need a teamwork to do it together. Yeah, because Big Mom keeps getting back up. Like this is probably like at least the 20th, maybe more. Because every time she gets knocked down, she gets back up like right away. Kid decides to magnetize Big Mom to the wall, but that doesn't hold her because she could just literally rip herself with the building still attracted to her. And uh, even Bones can't, she can even fix Bones because she can just make her bones into homies and then like tell the souls to like mend themselves. Because at first I was like, holy crap, they actually broke her arm because she's got this invincible hockey that they can't do. So with the moment we see Law's attack penetrate she even compliments law like your attack did some something to me and like law's like see see you gotta 
God, trust me, like, you, we know that laws attached must be the key. So the moment Big Mom sends her 3,000 leagues of misery onto Kid, and that was a pretty brutal beating, I must say. Law jumps in at that moment, and he, he's, like, hitting her here and there, and, like, he can, like, ro shambles room around to avoid her attack. Because, like, I know Law doesn't have as much of a physical... Law is not too much of a physical fighter. I mean, he has his sword, so he has some endurance and whatnot, but he's not, like, physically as strong as Luffy or Kid. Like, Luffy is all physical. Kid, he is physical, but I think because he has his, like, armor, he has high defense, so attacks don't hit him as much. So, like, when he took the brute beating from, uh, Misery, I almost said brulee. It's definitely gonna wear him down a lot. But, uh, the Law, when he penetrated her on the chest, and like it's going deeper. I'm just thinking he it just needs to cut through, but he's going deeper past the bombs, past Yamato, past uh Onigashima Island, through the ground. I'm not even sure if it hits underwater because it looked like there was lava or something. And he used his pogery trajectory, I don't know, attack on her, and uh, like man, this sends like the whole body into into shock and did major, major damage. And uh I mean, at this point, Kit is already tired out because while he's doing this attack, Big Mom is pounding him. You see blood everywhere. Like, he's already almost, he almost out of strength, but he just uses the last of his energy to do that attack. But he needs Kid to finish it off. So, like, you know, I love the connection back to the beginning. He's like, use this, do it. It, it feels really weird for me to say Eustace because we're so used to hearing Kid because, like, I just kept in Kid, you know? Actually, Luffy has another nickname for him, like, uh, Jaws. That attack was electrifying from Kid, and I love, I love it every time, like, the To Be Continued sign has, like, a new animation added, infused with the attack or whatnot. So, like, this time it was, like, electric purple, but, but... Once the To Be Continue came, I was so like, no! It, it makes you feel like, oh shoot, I don't think they're gonna defeat Big Mom this episode because uh, next episode, it might be like she came out, it might be like she hung on to the, the flooring to prevent herself from going down. Because like if Hera, Hera or Zeus, wait, am I saying the name wrong? Oh my god, I'm, I've am i been saying the name wrong the whole time. It's Prometheus, not even Zeus. Prometheus, oh my god. Everyone's gonna be so mad at me. Prometheus or Zeus, I mean, Prometheus and Hera doesn't come to save her. She's gonna basically fall to the ground. I don't know if Law made a hole big enough to reach the ocean. I saw it hit the ground, but did the sword go past the ground and into the water? Because that's where we need Big Mom to go. That's, that's literally the only way you can stop her. You can only run away from her from Hoki Island, which is an island surrounded by water, or, you know, you just keep fighting her endlessly until she gets what she wants. Yeah, so next episode, I really hope they're going to push her down. Look at this electrifying to be continued. I love it. If Yamato can somehow push that uh, black hole blob monster off the island as well, get rid of both Big Mom and that blob, and then the only one left would be Luffy. I don't know if everyone is going to go up to the rooftop to watch Luffy defeat Kaido, or they're all going to like wait. Because usually they, they don't watch Luffy fight. They just wait for him, and he just like, you know, he's in the hospital bed, and you hear news. Big news that Luffy, the straw has to have defeated XX enemies. A lot of favorite parts, but I think one, the Eustace kid at the beginning with the black and white mangas and then connection to the end, but Law's attack. Law, man, round of applause for Law. You can have anyone attack Big Mom, but the attack is not going to work because she has an impenetrable hockey. Law was literally the only one who could penetrate through her and get her damage from the inside. And then Kid is there to finish. I wasn't sure if one of the Straw Hats was going to come to help. Because you kind of want them two to do it because they're they're in the worst generation. It should be them two. But it kind of... But when they're fighting, I was like, is Jinbei ever going to come? Because Jinbei used to be part of Big Mom, so is he going to... Or Nami. I was just thinking it was either Nami and or Jinbei that might come to help. But they never did. But I like it like that. I like it that Kid and, uh, Kid and Law were the ones to defeat or will defeat Big Mom. She's not defeated yet. She's not defeated yet. Now, the only problem, but the, I think another thing I'm concerned with, with, besides her coming back, is like, her three main souls, Hera, Prometheus, Napoleon, because like, they were kind of standing on the side watching Big Mom get hit with the electricity. But when the attack is going on, you don't really jump in. 
but who knows right i uh <laughs> i guess i just don't want to end the episode because i'm like so much to talk about but uh ah so good so good anyways thank you guys so much for watching feel free to leave me your comments and thoughts i'll be sure to read them and see you guys for the next reaction peace out